So in this video, I'm going to show you how we're going to make a pepper and salt mill out of these segmented pieces. But first, let's see how the segmented pieces are put together. Okay, so uh, in the second part of the video, I'm going to take you on over to my friend Larry's sh uh, shop, and he does these pepper mills every week. He makes them for craft shows that he uh, goes to a couple of them each week and, and sometimes just sells right out of all these. So he has this down to a perfect science. Now, he doesn't really work with uh, segmented pieces. That's why I glued all these up, showed you how I glued the segment stuff, uh, because I do do, um, you know, I do like doing segments. I wouldn't say I'm an expert at it, but I do like um, doing them. Now, one of the issues that I ran into is I do get these little gaps here. And when I first glued these up, and while I had the rubber bands on, there were no gaps. But they expanded afterwards, has the glue and everything dried. And especially in the walnut, I uh, had some pretty good gaps there. So the way I'm going to take care of them is after he gets them to shape and before we start sanding, I got some five minute epoxy and then my little kit that I'm taking on over. And uh, I have some uh, pigments. I have some uh, brown and some white. So the white's gonna be used for the maple and the brown is gonna be used for the walnut. And we'll fill in all those gaps, let it dry and then finish sand and everything. And uh, by the time we get to finish on it, you probably won't even notice that's there, but we'll, we'll see when we, when we have it done. So be sure to stay tuned for the second part of the series to see how these get turned by a professional and our finished result. If you like what I'm doing here, please do like and subscribe. That really helps out the channel. And uh, any comments, leave them below. 
and I enjoyed having you around for this video. Please be back for the next one.